Hello, this is Rob Weir. I'm a committer on the Apache Open Office project. In an earlier tutorial that, that I also have up in YouTube, I showed how to use the Apache CMS from the perspective of a committer on an Apache project. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how anybody, a committer or, or not a committer, can use the CMS to prepare patches for the website. And this goes for almost um, all of the Apache websites. This is an easy workflow. If I can do it, you can do it, and if you can do it, then you can help um, Apache and your favorite Apache projects keep their websites up to date and you know, submit corrections, etc. Before we get started, let's quickly go through some vocabulary so we're all on the same page. First is, what is a CMS? Well, you can take a look on Wikipedia and you can get some false answers. It's Calcutta Mathematical Society. No, that's not what we're looking at. Um, it's the Compact Muon Solenoid. Um, no, that, that'll be in release two, I've heard. Um, it's cytoplasmic male sterility. Definitely not. Um, a certified master safecracker? I hope not. Um, the CMS in this case that we're working with is what's called a content management system, which Wikipedia defines as a computer system that allows publishing, editing, and modifying content, as well as site maintenance from a central page. And that, that's really the core of what, what a CMS is at Apache. It's a web-based system for managing the content of our websites. Another word you're going to come across pretty quickly is that of a bookmarklet. And a bookmarklet, as Wikipedia defines it, is an unobtrusive, should that be inobtrusive? I don't know. An unobtrusive JavaScript stored as the URL of a bookmark in a web browser or as a hyperlink on a web page. So it's a little snippet of JavaScript that acts as an application and lives in your browser, you know, up here in the, in the toolbar section. So let's figure out first, how do we get the bookmarklet? That's our entry point into the CMS, so first we need to get that. What you'll need to do is go to the URL I have up here above, um, s.apache.org slash CMS. That's the, the short form of the URL. You hit that, you'll get to a page asking you for authentication. If you are a committer on an Apache project, you, you could just type in your login here and go through the normal workflow. But if you want to use the what we call the anonymous workflow, then you log in as username anonymous and don't put any password and just click OK. And as you see right here, the recommended bookmarklet. Please be sure to install the bookmarklet on your browser toolbar by either dragging and dropping the ASF CMS link to your toolbar. So let's just click that with the left mouse button, drag it up here, and it will let us release it right up here. There it is. We, we have the, the bookmarklet installed in our browser, and it'll stay there kind of out of our way until we need it. Okay, so let's jump right into editing a web page on the Apache website. I'm going to use, for example, the incubator web page we have for the Apache Open Office project. So I'll just type in the URL here. It's uh, incubator.apache.org, openoffice.org. And we go to that page. And one thing I noticed earlier on this is we have an inaccurate statement about what platforms were in the 3.4 release, our initial release. It says Windows, Solaris, Linux, and Mac with um, you know BSD port coming. It's actually the, the Solaris port still coming, and we also have an OS2 port coming. So I'd, I'd like to make just a quick factual correction there. Uh, there's a bookmarklet. Click it. In this case, we're already authenticated to the CMS since we authenticated when we copied the bookmarklet earlier. In a normal case, if you came back in a new session a day later, whatever, you would need to re-authenticate. And again, username anonymous, no password. So by the preview here, I see that this is the page I want to edit. So I'm going to go right here under Actions and click Edit. Increase the size of the screen a little bit. As you can see, the edit view of the CMS gives a two paneled view. On the left hand side over here we see the source code, in this case it's an MD text. In some projects and in some websites within Apache this could be in another format such as HTML or XML. In this case it happens to be markdown text. And over on the right I see a live preview. So I want to edit what is the operating system support. So I'm going to go over here, OpenOffice is released on Windows. I'm going to take out Solaris. 
say Windows, Linux, and Mac. The more communities join in, including I'm sure for you, I'm just gonna change that to including free free BSD Solaris and OS2 ports. Like that. Plural. Okay. And I can see if I look through on the live preview, verify it's correct, open office is released on Windows, Linux, and Macintosh operating systems with more communities joining, including FreeBSD, Solaris, and OS2 ports. And I think I can clean up the language a little bit. I'll say released on the Windows, Linux, and Macintosh operating systems. And now if I scroll down, I see the quick mail option. And this is the easiest way to submit a quick patch, you know, let's say a trivial change, an easy correction you've made to a web page, this is the, the fastest way to do it. Um, you make sure quick mail is checked and you type your name here. In this case I'll just say uh, Rob Weir. Put your email address there if you, if you, you care to. And that's especially useful if you think someone may want to contact you to ask further questions. And then you just click submit. So jumping now over into um, my email, I can see that the patch has arrived on the OO dev list. That's our main mailing list for the Apache OpenOffice project titled CMS Diff Apache OpenOffice Incubator. So this is what the committer on the project would see. They'd see a diff of what was changed in the file and they'd also have a clone URL. And I'm not going to get into how to use the clone URL. That's something a committer would deal with, and that's a topic for another day. But it's often a good idea just to go into the um, archives, or if you're subscribed to the mailing list, make sure that your, your patch did come through and see if there are any follow-up discussions or questions on the mailing list. Now, another thing you could have done Suppose, for example, you had edited multiple pages. It wasn't just a single page, but multiple pages. Maybe you're doing a translation and you had an entire new directory worth of translated files. In that case, it's probably not appropriate to do the quick mail option, because that's only going to give you the diff of the page you're editing. Instead, what you would probably do is just do submit. Submit the changes to this page, submit the changes to another page. You know, keep on going until you've made all the changes you want to make and then click the diff option. And the diff option would give you a consolidated diff of all the changes you had made to all the pages you had edited. And then at that point you can cl click mail diff. And this gives you a fuller UI where you can give a more elaborate explanation of, of your patch. And you, for example, how it could be tested, etc. In this case, subject, contents, Good idea to always put your name there and email address if it's not obvious, and then you can submit, and that also would go to the OO dev mailing list. So th that's the basics on how you use the bookmarklet to access the Apache CMS in anonymous mode to do patches. And the basics were there's one mode called quick mail, which is relatively simple for making quick and easy changes. You know, for example, changes to a single page, and then there's the option where you can mail a diff for when you've made more elaborate changes. I hope this has been useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to uh, drop me a note or drop a project note, actually. Um, that's the email address, oodev at incubator.apache.org. Thanks.